Hello, Maverick Traders. Welcome out to your Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation utilizing the micro e-mini futures. How do we trade these? A little bit more education about the futures contracts in general, what the micros are versus the full size contract, and just going through the details, making sure you're aware of how to pull up the symbols, how to place the trades, what the multipliers are, where you can get more information. A very, very good educational class that I think you'll enjoy. So on behalf of Maverick Trading, I'm Corey Halliday, and let's get to it. First, I'm going to pull up the Trader Workstation. Now, within this, we can put in futures contracts. Now, let's say that we were going to start with the E-mini futures, the ES. This is, you'll notice here, we've got the S&P 500. You can see there's the micro and there's the E-mini. If I select the E-mini, I'll go ahead and choose March, which is the front month. If I go back and type in MES, again, I could go to the E-mini or I can get the micro. So I want the micro in this case. And that's the MES is the symbol. ES is the full sized. MES is the micro future. And what's a micro future? Well, it's one tenth the size. You'll notice that this is literally the exact same contract and they'll trade in lockstep and they'll have very similar liquidity characteristics and so on. Now if I were to trade the full size contract and go ahead and buy this, what I'm doing is buying something that makes $50 for every one point it goes up or loses $50 for every one point it goes down if I'm buying the contract. So let's make it simple. If I buy this at 3968 and it goes up to 3969 it went up one full point, I'd be up $50 in my trade. If I bought it at 3968 and it went down a point, I would be down $50. The full size contract Every one point move in the E-mini is worth $50 of value. So how does that differ from the micro? The micro we could trade the same way. We could have bought it at $39.68, but the multiplier effect is only one-tenth the size of the full contract. So where the E-mini has $50 per one point move, the micro future only has $5, only one-tenth the value, meaning if this goes from $39.68 to $39.69, I'm up $5. If it goes down from $39.68 to $39.67, I'm only down $5. The multiplier effect is only one-tenth the size. So to use a stock analogy, this would be like buying 100 shares and this would be like buying 10 shares. You're essentially buying something that is a smaller contract. Now, on the E-mini where it's $50 per point uh, versus $5 per point, that's the differential. There's all sorts of different futures that we could trade. We could trade gold if we wanted to. So gold, the symbol is GC. You'll notice that gold has the full size future. That's GC. Let's go ahead and choose February. Or I could type in GC and I can see that it's actually MGC as the micro. And I'll choose that future. And again, I'll choose the February. Notice once again, they trade pretty much in lockstep because they're the same thing. They're just different sizes. This is essentially like 100 shares to 10 shares, right? This is one tenth the size. You'll notice the symbol's the same with just the M on the front. The symbol's the same with the M on the front. That's usually how the micros work, is they simply put an M in front of the symbol, and now you're trading the micro future. So I could buy or short this. If I was bearish on gold, I could short that contract. And let's just say I shorted at 1906. If it goes down to 1905, I'm making money. If it goes up to 1907, I'm losing money. I could do the exact same thing here with the micro and it's just one tenth the position size, one tenth the risk, one tenth the reward. But for anyone that's new to the futures market, certainly starting with the micros is the correct approach in that you want to work your way in, right? Kind of dip your toe in. Obviously you should 
practice trade and demo trade first, but you would work with the micros and then when you feel like, hey, I've created profitability, I'm certainly doing the right things, I'm generating consistent returns, well then over time, you'd work your way up to the full size contract. Now, with the micros, if I traded two contracts, what's interesting about that? Well, now I've just in I've just doubled my position size, but I'm still nowhere near the size of the full size contract, right? If this is like buying 100 shares, this would be like buying 20 shares. Sure, I've doubled the micro size. Now I'm instead of 10%, I've basically the equivalent of 20%. If I went up to three, now I'm at 30% the size of the full contract. If I went up to five contracts, well now I'm 50% of the size, which means if the full size contract is $50 per point, well now I've created with five contracts $25 per point. But there is a little bit of increased commission cost by trading more contracts. So uh, as you get closer to 10, of course, you're going to go to the full size contract. You're not going to trade 10 of these. You'd rather trade one of those to cut down in your expenses in your total commission costs. Again, there's all sorts of futures contracts. We could trade um, oil. Now, oil is a big contract. Let's go with the CL, which is light, sweet, crude. If I pull up CL, notice right here we've got the futures, and let's go with, uh, let's go March, just to make sure we've got enough. If I type in CL again, and what would you guess the symbol's going to be? Well, MCL, right, for the mini. So we can even type that in, MCL. There's the micro WTI crude future. Again, I'll choose March. Again, the prices duplicate because this is one-tenth the size of that. And here's where it really might matter in something like oil. Now, oil, this one trades, first of all, in penny increments, and every penny is worth $10. So it has substantial amounts of, of value per one-point move, if you think about it from that standpoint. In other words, a full one-point move would be worth a thousand bucks gained or lost. So let's say hypothetically that we bought one full-size contract at 79.50. If it went up to 80.50, just oil prices moving a dollar. That's not that much. Look, we've moved a dollar today almost. If it went up a dollar, I'd be up a thousand bucks. But here's the problem: if it went down a dollar, I'd be down a thousand bucks. The oil contract is just the way that the size differential works and the value per point and so forth. It's just a big multiplier. It has a lot of volatility. There's a lot of price swings per day, thousands and thousands of dollars potentially. So certainly the micro might come in handy by saying, okay, if a one point move, 79.50 to 80.50, is worth a thousand, well, I'm gonna cut that down to where I'm trading the micro, which is one tenth the size. Well, now it's a hundred bucks. If it goes from 79.50 to 80.50, I'm up a hundred bucks. If it goes from 79.50 to 78.50, I'm down a hundred bucks. And for something like oil that has a big multiplier, more leverage, more volatility to it, then something like the micro could really cut down on your risks and you want to make sure that your position size towards risk not towards reward of course if we got the trade right we'd love to be in the big size contract but make sure you're ready for that make sure that your account size is the appropriate size because look oil can go down substantially in fact in 2020 we saw oil go negative, which some people didn't even realize could happen, that the futures contracts could turn upside down. Because why would anyone pay someone else to take the oil from them, right? That seems like there would be no scenario where you'd want to pay someone else to take the, the asset. You know, the buyer of the asset should be paying money. Instead, they were paying people to take the asset away from them. It went negative. So... Uh, just think about as it dropped to negative 30, if you were long that contract, I mean, that 35-point drop below zero, if 
you thought zero was the bottom and then every point is worth a thousand dollars well that's a thirty five thousand dollar move from zero to negative thirty five on the oil futures contract in the full size in the micro not as big a deal now obviously you'd have stop losses you'd have all those good protective measures in place but I'm just giving you some extreme examples so you can kind of understand uh, the risk and reward of something like the oil contract now let's talk a little bit more about the interactive broker specifically if you wanted more information you can just come on to interactive brokers website you can click on the various contracts and they will have symbols like if you are wanting to trade you know US dollar against the CAD they have a symbol for that for the micros again we're in the micro area if you wanted to trade um, different contracts like oil well here's an example of oil and it gives you the breakdown and it talks about the contract size whereas the micro is controlling 100 barrels of oil versus the full size which is trading 1000 barrels of oil in that asset uh, if we wanted to get into treasuries and you wanted to trade the bond market and so forth, well, there are micros for that and you have different uh, risk and reward and it talks about the tick size and how many contracts there are. They'll always create the two nearest month contracts available for you. So it's kind of like options that way in that the front two months are always available and then it can be hit or miss. So if you look at ES, for example, and I look at the full size contract, let's pull it up here, you'll notice that there's a March, but then it skips to June and September and so on. So we're in January, it would have the front two months, and then it can hit or miss thereafter. Most people trade the front month contract once the, the front month goes away or reaches its expiration, then they'll move to the next one. And that, that's where most of the liquidity will be. If you get into a little bit longer dated contracts, so let's go into something that's out there a bit further, like September, it's still liquid enough, but notice there's not a lot of action. One contract being bid, one contract on the ask, and notice the bid ask spread is quite wide there's four dollars difference between them versus in the front month well there's it's as tight a bid ask spread as you can get 0.25 increments is how these trade they don't trade in penny increments so it goes from 39.6450 to 39.6475 that's as tight as that bid ask spread can possibly be here you've got multiple points between them so a lot of people are not actively trading these longer dated contracts instead they'll be trading the front month contract so you can go on to interactive brokers website directly you can actually pull up some information that way you can find various symbols or breakdowns of of the the offering again most of the micros will have an M in front of the symbol so like GC is the symbol for trading gold MGC happens to be the micro gold future so I hope you've enjoyed this class on trading the micro futures on the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation platform. On behalf of Maverick Trading, I'm Corey Halliday. We'll see you next time.